This bungalow of Mangal Girdhar, the house of MG, where you are now is no common place. Let me tell you how. It is a landmark of nobility and grandeur, a symbol of acclaim and tradition, a memorial of prosperity and culture, linking you to an Ahmedabad of hundred years past. Ethical, youthful and proud it remains, this grand building. Within and around the scenes and stories from the past, still intact. Look in the distance, you too will see. Listen carefully, you too will hear. And experience this long journey through time. Look, there is Bhadra Fort with the Red Gate and Ahmedabad of the 19th century dwelling within it. Go traverse the dusty roads in a carriage or a cart resplendent with lanterns. Kalupur, Raja Mehtapol and even Khushal Vaikun's neighborhood in daylight. Look over to that veranda. Learning from teacher wielding a cane with rings in the ears and coal lined eyes wearing little dhotis, shirts and caps embroidered with flowers. Yes, they are Mangal Das and younger brother Chamanlal. Notice the lines in their palms. They predict a royal future and grandeur. When rates of bills of exchange began to fluctuate and price of turkey red cotton soared, when the cloth market rose to new heights, with insightful investments, fortune smiled and their wealth abounded. Mangal Das led the charge, Chaman Lal by his side. Many cloth mills came up in big cities and within Ahmedabad. Manchester of Asia it came to be called. Mangal Das, the humble storekeeper, became Mangal Das, the mill owner. Ambassador of the industry, he became a big man, Mangal Das Girdhar Das. Secular he remained. His partnerships with a Muslim and a Parsi merchant earned fame. Me, the Parsi and Mangal Das, who Bavo ne Mangal Das became a common saying. It is of these two brothers, Girdhar Das, that this was home. And their family of 35 too made it their own. Replete with 42 rooms, a courtyard garden, fountains, artistic swings, red velvet carpets, huge Belgian mirrors, stained glass windows and Italian tiles. And did you notice those two special rooms? Maternity rooms for the family's women they are. Occupied year round, sometimes by mother and a daughter, delivering together. A curious situation in these times it may seem. Did you see that served thali, meant for eating with legs crossed on a stool? This family ate together and stayed together. Their hospitality was enjoyed by royals and leaders paid visits. Business, social and political banter was exchanged sitting in half circles. In spite of threat from the British, they hosted Gandhi for three days. And whenever a dispute arose between mill owners and labour, Gandhiji and Mangal Das were nominated for a solution to offer. Thinking ahead, they purchased land across the Ellis Bridge. And by 1947, all the family had shifted in new independent homes. And then the times changed. The industry went into recession, mills closed, the business lay divided. The family got distracted, busied in varied occupations. The grandeur of the mansion seemed to fade as it receded from the public gaze. Gujarat and Maharashtra became separate states and the Gujarat government asked for unused space. Entered government offices, clinics and agencies. Even the first denim store Ruab and the department store Parix. Then came Kamal and Abhay, descendants of Mangaldas, with a vision and a firm resolve to revive the splendor and awaken it from its slumber. So began the restoration, the adaptive reuse, a 15-year labor of love. Saw it becoming a hub for Gujarati hospitality and lifestyle. It embodies a certain divinity, a legacy of prosperity. It has something special, cascading history, home to a dynasty, the warmth of a joint family, experience of culture, a luminosity of change, and the omnipresent brothers Girdhardas.